back to uh, the history question a little bit. I'm just curious, why is it that no one in the past, however many hundreds to 150 years, has done something like what Gold Springs trying to do, consolidate and look at the big picture? It's, it's actually a great question, and really, you know, it, you know, back before Nixon lifted the peg on, on gold, um, you know, they, everybody had left, and eleven dollar an ounce that time. <laughs> the yeah. price, the price, and then, you know, when it started up, almost all of the uh, mining law of 1872 was predicated a lot of it right at this property in Butte, Montana, and a couple others. So when they did this, people were buying six feet of land, twenty feet of land. 600 feet of the strike. They're not like mining claims that we're used to. So by the time it's done and they're in full production, they have 130 public companies between the top of the hill down here. After it all rolls out and the price never being advantageous until recently, it was scattered people. And so different people, and kind of by luck actually, by the time we got here, a few guys had consolidated some pretty big blocks and we just started picking up the blocks and everything around them. And so we're the first ones who were ever in a position to consolidate and have the combination of the right price of gold. We, but yeah, and then you had the, the War Act, and basically it, it precluded anybody from doing any type of mining other than that would be useful for, you know, the, strategic the, metals. Strategic metals. So it forced you know everything that was anybody that was running gold mining, except for one mine, uh, were, were all shut down. 